Welcome back to the Yosuke. I am Gray. Today we have more of what you need. And what you need today is more Rome Total War. So, there's no other really nice little cut and dry, cutesy little segues I got for you there. That's pretty much it. So we're going to jump right into this shit. Um, Alright, so, now that we've stabilized most of Northern Africa, well, all of Northern Africa and all that good shit, we are now um, at war in... Uh, in uh, whatever you want to call it, the Iberian Peninsula. That's what it is. So, um, what we are going to do is focus over here, I think. Um, and if we are able to um, build ourselves some more, um, some more, uh, what do you want to call it? If we're able to uh, acquire some more troops through the course of just taking all these, all these. Uh, settlements and shit over here um then we're going to focus um well not really focus but send some of our um our resources and uh whatnot to our eastern borders out over here and take this little fuck puppy right here this little fucker um however before we get into that um wait a minute do you seriously fucking make that um that's interesting. That's very interesting. That's very, very, very interesting. Okay, so we should have scouts. We should have. Yeah, I'm gonna put you over there because I want you to deploy right there. Because you are not really anything to me right now. I can move you up here. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move our spies and whatnot. Actually, what I am gonna do is this. What can we? All right, we're full up on spies. We can use a couple dignitaries. Okay, I'm on guard gear. That just sounds kick-ass. All right, so um, where is our other spy? All right, Metallo. I think we're going to want two spies up here. I think we are. Um, let's take a look at our objectives. Control 18 port settlements either by direct ownership or through client states military allies. We currently have 10, so we only need 8 more. Um, oh shit, we want a good chunk of stuff. Uh, okay. Why aren't you Petka? You are Lusitania. All right. Where in the fuck is this? All right then. Um. Uh. Nope. That's not it. This is it. Nope. That is not gonna tell me what. What I got. Okay, alright. Thanks for telling me what this is. Each of the following. Oh, they're sea regions. That's why. Idiot. It's gonna be this, isn't it? Nope. Hispanum. You're gonna be right here? Yeah, okay. Jesus, we can go pretty far. That's alright, though. That's alright. That's why I couldn't figure out what those were. All right, so um, I do kind of like take a look at these sometimes. Blood money. Who the fuck has mercenary units? You, my lord. Seriously. Who the fuck has merc units? Ready for battle. Huh. Um... I'd like to know who has mercenary on. units because they cost a lot of overkeep, overkeep, upkeep. So we're gonna try. Oh, fuck, it's not you. And where is you are right here? Right. You don't have any. Huh? Okay, so we only have. Shit, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, we have five armies. One fleet. Hmm. Hmm. Would love to know 
where those mercenary units are. Because I'd actually like to disband them and get rid of them because, like I said, a lot of upkeep to keep mercenary units. Although we are kind of built on mercenary units, well, not built on, but we have uh, bonuses to using those fucking things as the um, Carthaginians. So um, I can't adopt you. You're 55 or 53 years old. Not really all that interested in you. Sepidam, Saniatis. Where are you? You're at that end of that system. Alright. Secure promotion. Give that guy some. Give us some more. Uh, more control over shit. Alright, anyway. Why? Why did we take hits on everybody here? Did we? Were we? We weren't, uh. Oh. How can I serve? We do need to, um. Yeah, how's our. How's our. Oh, fuck, you guys are super happy here. We'll, uh. Build ourselves a fishmonger so we can have some more foods, because we're a little low on foods right now, and. That doesn't make me happy. Alright, so I think we're pretty much done, um. Um, what we're waiting for is we're waiting for these guys to fucking get out of there. So I think then we'll go ahead, maybe, and assault Alalia, maybe? I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I really am. But we're gonna want, we're gonna want to start pouring troops into both of these armies right here. So we can start raising some cane. That's the idea anyway. Is really, I just want to get rid of some of these troops that that Rome has floating around. I mean, they just got large armies just kind of wandering around here, and it's kind of irritating me a little bit and and kind of worrying me just a little, just just a little bit. But anyway, um, yeah, I think we're gonna end this turn because I am. We can go and attack Ars. I love the name of that fucking town. That's awesome. Just so kick-ass. We do have the opportunity to kind of whip around, but I'm I'm scared of what's in here. I really am. I have a feeling something's sitting in there just waiting for us to fucking run through and get all fucked up. So we're going to end the turn here and uh, get going. So, um, see, I just don't like how they got all this shit. See, that fucking, where are you going? Where are you fuckers going? I don't like that. Fear is your lot. Now come the ravens, beaks a cape for your guts, eager for our sword work. Alright, so the Gallic Confederation has declared war on us. That's new. Um, not sure how I feel about that. See, yeah. These fucking dicks. Just all floating around, weirding me out. I'd really like for that Roman army to try and take Carlos. I would appreciate that a lot, actually. I think that would be, um, give us a really fun defense of that city, and, ah, so, uh, good old Egypt went and fucked up, uh, see, like I said, that's what, I don't know, that's what really bothers me, having Egypt out here, and since we're not on good terms with them, like I said, I kind of would like to, fuck, that's not what I want, I want the diplomacy thing. I kind of would like, you know, some sort of. Actually, can I open up? I look forward to your wisdom, but I trust you will not object to a cup of wine first. I didn't think so. Treaties, military access, and non aggression pact. So we have with them? Shit, I did not realize we had that with them. So let's get going Be here. Welcome, Can we please trade with you and at speak least? Of your concerns to mighty How about non-aggression pact? You ask. It seems like fucking Egypt just wants to get in our shit. See, and that's one thing that's gonna suck too. If we get into a war with, I mean, everybody, you know, obviously we're, we're in, we're in some shit. We want to at least be able to focus on one area, um, oh yeah, see this fucking dickhead. See, they're just gonna, I, I bet you they're gonna go and, uh, I have a feeling they're gonna go raiding our territory. 
I really, really do feel that that's on the horizon here with them. Oh, I can upgrade this, can't I? Let's go ahead and upgrade that. Oh, see, there's nothing over there, so that's good. See now, see now that we're at war with the Gallic Confederation, which there's no real reason for them to declare war on us. Honestly, like, it's one thing that's kind of an annoying about this game. Diplomatically, like, you'll have fucking countries all the way up in here. That here, actually, let me show you. Let, let me let me bring up the map. You'll have like country, or countries, cultures, factions up in here that'll declare war on you. Like on my Suebi campaign, I've got I'm allied with like Pergamum or whatever, and they've taken over like fucking everything. Pergamum's going and ape shit, and I'm basically over. I mean, I'm just pretty much all in Western Europe, all over here, and yet I'm having like countries over here, like Parthia and shit, declare war on me and stuff. It's like I will never be able to get over there and attack them. Why would I even want, or why would that even be, you know, an option to be at war with them? It's kind of ridiculous, in my honest opinion. But it is what it is, I suppose. So. All right, we are going to do this, though. We are going to go assault Ars. We're going we're gonna to try and move a little quickly here. See if we can rile them up over here in mainland. Uh, fucking Iberia, whatever you want to call it. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Um, I am going to move the... Uh, the Sacred Company from my bosom to uh, Kart Hadasht while we're at it. See if we can't sucker them into going and besieging the settlement. And then we'll hopefully manage them taking them out and shit. But we'll see. We'll see. One good thing to having um, Ars as a settlement, it's pretty close to um, Taraco. Um, which is just a little north end with the, um, the Gallic Confederation uh, declaring war on us. Um, we can now go take that settlement as well. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not really happy about that. I wish they would at least wait until you, like, get to their borders. You know what I mean? Like, if we're at war with the Lusitani and, and like, you know, they, they still had Ars and a couple of, uh, other other settlements in between us and you know the Gallic Confederation. I wish they'd wait until we get to their borders to to declare war on us because it's a little little much. I mean, I don't know actually how their political affiliation with the Lusitani is right at present. So I guess I guess there's that. So I mean, it's that that certainly would come into play, but. Well, like I said, I don't know, don't really know how they're affiliated with them, so I can't really, that could be a reason, I guess that's what I'm saying, because I'm just all over the fucking place right now. However, um, yeah, this is going to be pretty easy, I think, um, put you right here, double line that shit. Now I want you to double line that shit too. And we will go with you fuckers. Um eh, eh. Don't really need Don't really need the cavalry, but we'll put them over there anyway, so. Our spears are yours! And we'll have you fuckers. Whole ass over there. And that'll be pretty much it. The one good thing about um about fighting the Lusitani is they've mostly got sword units, not a whole lot of spears. They have some but not a whole lot. So armies like this, um, set up the way it is with a bunch of spearmen and, and a good contingent of cavalry are gonna do pretty well against them. Um, as long as we, you know, keep our, keep our cavalry away from them, especially like in the open field, I mean, that's something that's going to be, um, pretty, pretty, uh, advantageous for us. However, they are, you know, covering their own ass right here and keeping the spear infantry over there. 
which is fine. I don't really care because we're gonna kind of uh, gonna run through them quite a bit. Hopefully, I don't really have anything, anyone up here. They're gonna move these guys. They have Birgen swordsmen up there. Oh, they have a spear unit there already. So go ahead and throw your shit at these guys. Actually, you don't know. No. Let's go with their skirmishers. I want to go after their skirmishers. Because we can. That's pretty much it. Alright. Yes, engage. Engage, 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 engage. They do have neat swordsmen because they do have some ranged stuff. Which is, uh, which makes... Which makes fighting them with the Suave pretty fun, actually, to get a lot of units, a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, melee units that have, um, whatever you want to call it, Jesus. Got their fucking, whatever you want to call them over here. Mm, these guys are going to get eaten up over there, over here, I think, since we got their general unit. The battle is turning in our favor. Yeah, they're gonna get eaten up. Oh, they're doing pretty well against them. They're just the veteran shield warriors, so I guess these things will work out. You guys are gonna dog shit at these guys, right? 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 Maybe? Hopefully? All that good shit. I'll hurry up and break these guys. These guys need to break right here and then we'll be able to move. There we go. Get those skirmishers out of there. Alright. Now, we can move these guys over here. Throw shit at these assholes. Spearmen, ready for order. Help us. Where are you dickheads going? Like, seriously. Alright, so we're just about done here. Throw your sheets. Throw your sheets. Alright, this worked out. A little bit better than I thought it would. I thought these guys were going to get eaten up a lot more. We did take some heavy losses on that unit, though. Not particularly... Not particularly great, but... We'll deal. Alright. So that's that. Uh-huh. So we're able to... Take our... Like I said, it's nice because the, the location of the settlement is nice because we can just send armies pretty much straight from Kart Hadash to Toraco. I mean, you got it gives you access to a lot of different areas in, in the region too. It's it's pretty nice to have, honestly. The problem is um, in this province that we have, which includes Kart Hadash, Ibalsum, um, Ars, and Numantia. Imanti is kind of in the middle of the Iberian Peninsula all alone and it's really in a vulnerable position because it's kind of it's kind of away from everything you know like kind of isolated I mean it's a decent distance between it and ours and any other settlements really so it's hard to get um, you know reinforcements and shit up there so that's gonna be a pain in the ass and unfortunately that will likely be a Settlement that will probably have to garrison an army in for quite some time. Um, it may really slow down things. So that may be one of those um, uh, settlements that we take. That'll take a while for us to get around to acquiring. Just because, like I said, it's you know it's gonna be just just off in the middle of nowhere. It's really weird. I mean, there's other settlements around it, but they're you know, far away, far enough away that just an army, if we are not there guarding it, and it's not, you know, one of those military settlements like we've been working on with, like, Thapsus and, and shit like that. If it's not anything like that, they can just sweep in and just take it from you. So, yeah. 
That's kind of a pain in the ass, quite honestly. It really is. Um, I was able to take it with my other one of my other campaigns, um, coming from the north, obviously, but what I did was I just kind of leapt away from it real quick. I kind of went and took Ars and another... Was it Ars? Or something. No, it was uh, Kartuba. I was able to go down and sweep in and take Kartuba real quick after acquiring Namatia, so I didn't give them time to kind of single out that settlement and go after it. Lucky enough for me, right? So, um... Now that we have this, what do we want to do? Where do we want to go from here? That's the question. I think we'll... Mm, the logical choice, quite honestly, since we are at war with... Um, since we are at war with the Gallic Confederation, just in move. Yeah, Namati's just off in the fucking woods, pretty much. Yeah. Sorry, and fucking, you, my, my brain decided to stop working there for a second. Cause see, yeah, it's really close. I mean, we can get there like next turn if we really wanted to. Just go take it. I am gonna take a look at. See, yeah, Taraco. See, Taraco does not have a whole lot of shit there. We may just go ahead and do that. May we may? I'm not quite sure. We do need to. Fuck. Oh. I don't have monies, that's why. Alright, so next turn I guess I'll just go ahead and start fixing all that shit there. But I do want to do this. I want to move you. Uh, seriously, dude, what, what's the fucking deal? Thank you. Jesus. Alright, we'll move him there and, um,. That way we have some sort of really want to go take our tube. I think our tube would be a good place to go um, acquire. That'll give us some coverage here at Ars. Ars. Give us some some sort of coverage. Because they can, you know, obviously they got Numantia and all that shit. They can kind of go wherever the hell they feel like going. From here. Oh, you can't go through these? Hmm. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Hmm. Oh. Oh, fuck. This guy. Yeah, he's all fucking raiding and shit. That's what's going on. Fucking Christ, I hate these goddamn things. I would travel many miles for Carthage. Oh, I think we can get him. Kill them! Kill them all! I think we can get him. There we go. Get out of here, shitheads. Fucking fuck them. Fuck them. Oh, we lost the fucking boat. Really? 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 We still have a wind, my lord. Yeah. Fuck them. How can I serve Carthage? Alright, I think I need you to head your ass back. That way. No, oh, fuck. I gotta take care of this, don't I? I'll be all pissed off at me. Alright, so there's that. Alright, so that should help our... Should help our stuff, yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Alright. Yeah, start walking that way, dickhead. I ain't got time for you to just play around. Alright, I think we are. Well, uh, uh, I think we'll... I think we'll have a spy over here and then one... I don't know. I don't know where I want her yet. We may, we may figure that out next turn. So we are gonna just gonna go ahead and turn this over and keep going. So let's see what the Lusitani decides. See, I am very curious as to what fucking... See, Rome just seems to be going back and forth, don't they? Like, seriously, just back and forth, back and forth. They keep sending boats, like, fucking over there. It's like, what are you guys fucking doing? For real. Like, what the fuck? Someone needs to tell me what you're doing. Because I can't figure that shit out. 
that's the thing like i said like i, I feel like they're just putting patrols out there back and forth waiting for an opportune moment to snake a settlement from me it's really what i feel like they're doing just gonna see and go back and forth back and forth back and forth see what they can fucking sneak from me you fucking cheap bastards pricks hate them oh cartuba's fucking recruiting some cartuba that turdatani are recruiting some troops there we go uh, we got some of those guys and in our fucking whatever you want to call it in our settlement all right now we can start um <sighs> converting some of the shit i don't really need one of those here do i i don't think i do don't think i do uh oh, horn makers neat neat oh, holosideros we're gonna go with that that arse. Even though I don't necessarily need one, I just need one for the garrison. And that'd probably be a good place to kind of, you know, keep a, keep a decent garrison at. You know what I mean? Makes sense to me. Right? So anyway, we've got... Okay, so we can... I don't know. You, I got you moving. You know what? Fuck it. I want to move you over here. Because I think, I really do feel like Taraka would be a good place to kind of capture and hold on to. I think that'd be a good idea. Uh, it will be kind of costly, in all My honesty. Lord. Um, it really will. But, nation rises. The Odrissian kingdom. Oh, Tylus. Oh, Tylus. See, this is what's fucking preventing me from going up here and, and attacking Alalia. That's really what I want to do. I want to go up there and attack Alalia. But it just won't fucking let me. God damn it. Anyhow. Um, we don't really have any extra cash to put into those guys. So we're just going to go with this. End the turn. And then, like I said, I really want to go. Really want to get moving. On that, um... See, like, like what they keep doing over here. Like, they keep having that army go up there to Rome, go back down here, go back up there to Rome. Fuck it. Some of those assholes out of there. It's it's, it's irritating because, like, it kind of slows down the game when they can just do this shit. And like I said, it. Yeah, he's gonna start fucking doing what I think he's gonna do with me. Words can be all that is between people. Sure. <sighs> Syracuse does does look kind of kind of ripe for the picking, doesn't it? Political intrigue. <sighs> Really? You guys gonna fucking do that shit again? <sighs> That's irritating. <sighs> really? Really irritating. Fuck you, dude. Alright, I am gonna adopt your ass. Cause... Why not? as we can. All right, so what we've got going on. What do we want to research? What do we want to research? Hmm, let's, let's research some military shit here. Let's do this. Yes, yes. Hmm. Do need to research that again here soon. We'll go with punicization, then we'll do the other one, yeah. That's what we'll do. That's the plan, kids. That's the plan. Alright, so. What should we do with ours? I think we need food over here, quite honestly. That's something that I feel like, you know what, we are going to do. Ready for battle. We are going to dis. Wait, hold on. Before I do that. Before I do that. Okay, we can. Alright. Uh, disband these crappy units. 
And we are going to continue working on, um, ah, oh, Jesus. You had to like travel directly up the spine of the thing, like do, 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 ding. Every time, it's kind of it's kind of annoying, kind of irritating. I bet you he's gonna start raiding here soon. I bet you, even money. I can build you. What can you? Ah, huh. just more. Not really more of anything. Just more army recruitment capacity. Ooh, that's kind of neat. That's, that might be useful here. We fight for you, my lord. But what we are going to do is we're going to start pumping money, pumping money, pumping money. We're going to start pumping troops and pump into, um, into these guys. Into the sacred company. Because we're going to need another army that's going to go run around and kick some ass and take some names. The Walls of Bursa is good, but we're going to need another one. Um, mostly to cover their ass. It's nice having this extra one that kind of you know, does what it's doing and, and, you know, can kind of uh, help out. All right, so let me, all right. No garrison there yet. We need, we need this shit to be done. All right. So we aren't going to go after Taraco yet. Mostly because I'm kind of worried that this little dickhead will come in there and we're like fucking, your champion, my lord. you know, two turns. So you're recruiting here. You're getting ready to do some shit. Assholes. Alright, go ahead and deploy there. Because that's kind of a good spot to keep eyes on. I don't know why. You can't quite see. See, this is a good spot too to take. Because you can stop everything coming down the coastline here. At Taraco. And at the same time, it gives you access to all this shit. Now, of course, this mountain pass here, you can't. Go, well, you can go through, but it kind of costs some lives. But it's a good, it's a good place to hold. It's a good uh, choke point for the whole peninsula, really. So that's also why I'm kind of tempted to go after it here shortly. Um, I am gonna go check. You are, you are at Thapsis. You are at Carthage. You are fucking wounded because they tried to fucking kill you. Dicks. Alright, so we're gonna enter in there. Um. Yeah. So I think, I think what might be a good idea going forward over there is to take, I think, Kartuba, even though we're not at war with the Turtatani, might be a good idea to go take that settlement before long. Um. And I think the zone of control should prevent anyone from sneaking past unless they go the southerly route to Kart Hadasht. Even so, with a decent garrison at Kartuba, of course, you know, the kind of missed their chance to take Kartuba. See, I knew that fucker up there was going to start raiding. I knew this fucking dickhead. Oh, fucking. Mm. Fucking prick. That's all I've got to say. All right, I got something for you though. I don't even know. I don't even think he can get there. Can he get there? Yeah, he can. Nope, you can't. Fucking Christ! God, that's fucking bullshit. Prick. Hate you. I hate you. I hate you. All right. Anyway, so we do have a ton of shit going though. Going though. Um, building though. Ooh, all that's gonna be done next turn. Nice. Neat. Neat, 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 neat. Alright. Um. The idea here is this. Um. Ars is going to be a little economic center with some food and shit like that. While Kartadasht and Taraco, hopefully, are going to be a pair of military minded uh, sediments that'll give us. What the hell? Where'd your troops go there, buddy? How can I serve you? Kinda... Where? Did you... Oh! Did you get kicked out of there? I'm yours to command. Maybe? Maybe not? Hmm. Interesting. Maybe Kartuba is right for the taking. Shit. Um... Fuck, we may be able to do it just with these fucking guys. That might not be... 
might not be too I difficult at all. But while we are right here, I am going to be kind of cheap and recruit some units. Mm, just barely not enough. All right. So once these settlements, settlements, these buildings get done, um, we're gonna move on, I think, to Turaco and take that shit. I think. Like I said, the idea is to have this as a little food, economic, um, little economic settlement, with the two military settlements in between them, hopefully to um, theoretically deter anyone from marching on and attacking them. The idea is to have some of these as, as, whatever you want to call them, like, uh, to have some of them as, uh, you know, I don't know, hopefully, like, they'd go after them instead of sneaking past and go take ours, but typically they don't do that because they're all about attacking the weakest fucking settlement on the board in hopes of taking it from you because they're fucking dickheads. But anyhow, um... There's that. So, fuck. Oh, so they're actually on the island. So hopefully they see if they, if that Roman army comes down to attack us at Carlos, which is what we really, really fucking want. Then we'll move towards Alalia. I think I tried that last time, but I didn't get around to it. I was unable to. Because that's really the only thing that's, oh shit. Well, maybe we won't take Artuva. Oh, there's a fucking Turdetani taking Gadira from uh, the Celtiberian Confederation. Is that who that was? Something like that. Anyhow, this seems to have a uh, kind of fuck the thing. The way this thing freezes sometimes freaks out. Don't think it quite knows what the hell it's want, what the hell it wants to do, but anyhow, all right. So that makes things interesting. That makes things very interesting. Yeah, this little fucking dickhead now. Yeah, now, now he can't. Uh, now he's scared. Now he's scared. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I'm trying to do some rudimentary math here. Yeah. Since he's just gonna sit there and fortify, which you know, that means he cannot go back. He's stuck. When they do that, that means they're fucking stuck. They can't move. They have no avenue of escape. Because there's zone of control here at Kartuba. And I wanna say, let me let me take a look at the Celtiberian Confed. You are who are you at war with? You are at war with the Turditani. And the Lusitani. Alright. It would be great if you'd like come over here and attack them. Try and take that from them. That'd be awesome. That would just be fan fucking tastic. Yes, it would. See, so you've just you have the light of Bolanos. You're, you're just yeah okay. You're just them. All right. So what have you got? You got Celtic warriors, tribesmen, skirmishers, swordsmen, and heavy horse. Oh fuck me in the ass. That's not good. Heavy horse. Shit. I don't like the sound of that shit. Um. I do want to take it, though. I want to take it. I want to take it. I want to take it. Good thing is, too. Mmm. Mmm. Should we take the risk? Should we take the risk? I think we're going to. I don't know why we're going to. The reason why we're going to take the risk. Jesus! We got some tiny boats. That one dude and fuck it, that guy. Oh, garrison. That's the garrison fleet. These are the garrison troops that are there. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and assault this shit. And take it the hard way. So I think it'll take quite some time for us to whittle it down. And I don't want to give them. A chance to have a big big group of big army to come sweeping in and kick our ass that kind of scares me a bit quite a bit actually um 
Taking the summit will be interesting. Oh, it's one of these. If it's what I think it is, I think. It's a bit smaller than I remember. But it is kind of neat the way it's the way the town is. It's one thing I like. That's another reason why I really wish I really wish they would attack like these larger settlements more because I really do enjoy the layout. I enjoy like the urban fighting. I really do. I, I enjoy it I, a lot. I, mean, I, I think it's neat when you can kind of just I don't know, like I said, I like seeing all the different layouts and all the different templates that they have for the towns and I, like I said, especially the, the neon, the Germanic and Celtic ones, I think they're, they're, um, their, their city layouts are pretty neat in all honesty and I enjoy, like I said, I enjoy fighting there and it's, it's disappointing the, that the fucking other factions are just looking for these easy ones that they can just snake from you instead of actually giving you a real fun fight like they never like never take these big settlements it's always those small ones like ours with no walls they never never attack these settlements it's really frustrating like the only way for them to attack a settlement like this is for you to have no garrison like no army in it and only a garrison obviously as we've already established they need a huge advantage for them to go in there and even attempt it you know, like I said, it's it's frustrating when they don't. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. <sighs> Found it. Oh, fuck. No, maybe not. Yeah, those right there. I'm trying to find a weaker spot where we're not going to get pelted with 16 zillion arrows like we did last time. Remember that? Remember when that fucking sucked ass? That sucked ass. This is a nice spot, kind of. Kind of. Ooh, yeah, this might be it. Because the main city thing is right there. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody get the fuck over here. I hate how they... I hate how everything is all fucking dicked up. I really don't like how they orient everything in the, the pre-battle map. Okay. Kind of gets a little annoying sometimes. Sorry, you guys are going to be unit two, three. See, there's a pattern to to how I um. Fuck, we're not even gonna be able to use these guys. That is one problem about not taking a gate. You fuckers, come over here. All right. Fuck. Wow, really? Thank you. Shit. All right, just wanted them like not on top of each other. All right, so, oh, 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 I can't go after that. Can't go to there. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Sure, that's fine. See, if there's just enough. Missiles at your command. Oh, not what I wanted. Oh, you we may end up bottlenecking ourselves here and kind of get screwed, but it is what it is. Uh, I'll just leave the horses there. It doesn't matter much. I just love the design of these these settlements. I just think they're really cool. I love the way that the walls are kind of just the way they are, and you can fight. You can just get up here, and you don't have to get off the walls and stuff, you know? I, don't know, I just like them a lot more than the big tall walls that you gotta go up and then dismount off of and all that shit. So, that's just me though. Alright. Can you go to another spot right over here? Or I can maybe actually click on one? I mean, yes. I don't know. I might not be able to get on the fucker. How are you gonna bring these guys in? Have them throw spears at you. You're just Celtic tribesmen. You're just swordsmen. You are skirmishers. More skirmishers. Yeah, throw your shits. Throw your shits. Oh, neat. They won't be able to hit us until we're up there. 
Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Go quicker. You're too slow. Bastards and these guys are getting. Uh, yeah, I'll let you know. Alright, we'll probably end up losing this. I think we'll lose this unit for sure. Oof, might even lose that one too. They're really taking a beating. Really taking a beating. Wait for these to be up there and then we will go. Why are you not going up that? You guys supposed to be like a little farther back there to actually hit them? Or are you just gonna throw? Yeah, or else oh they are gonna get reinforcements over here, so apparently there's a major malfunction with this ladder, so um that fucking works I guess. You actually fucking hitting shit now? Just pretending to be so our general's under attack. How in the fuck is our general under attack? Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. I always fucking do that. God damn it. I love you, Freeman, though. Right. Damn it. I always fucking do that. I always forget about those fucking guys. Always. Always, God damn it. I'm kind of irritated with myself now. God damn it. Alright, now we can go ahead and run those fuckers over. Damn it, I'm so mad at myself. I always fucking forget about those fucking boats and shit. Alright. <sighs> kind of irritated about at myself for that. Really am. The battle is turning in our favor. Your stupid slingers. Get your stupid slingers out of here. What in the fuck is going on? Where did you guys come from? Alright, so now that we're all out of swords and shit. Alright. Is that all of them? See if you can catch up to them fuckers. Ah, you won't. Yeah, take them fuckers out. Alright, we are gonna capture these two towers. Give us some coverage. you guys to come in over there. You guys. You guys can keep up the rear. Oh, fuck you guys. What are you guys doing? What the hell? What's over here that's making us lose this tower? Someone want to inform me what is over there making us lose this tower? Because I'd love to know. Whatever. It's not it's not crucial to fucking anything. Did you guys kill them fuckers? Alright. Fuck. Alright. At least no one has it. Shouldn't be shooting arrows at anyone, right? Should be, yeah. Alright, 
Alright, go fucking throw what's left of your shit at those guys. Wish we could kind of bait them into fighting back. Oh, God damn it. I'm gonna get hit by this little fucking thing over there. I say, I wish we could kind of bait them into fighting over here, but... Why are you not, like, moving with any sort of pace whatsoever? So, we want to... Uh, uh, they only have one unit of heavy horse? I thought they had two. Maybe I'm losing my shit. Probably I'm losing my shit. Because I'm kind of like, you know, fucking crazy. But, you know, it is what it is. So anyway, alright. You guys are pretty much done. I'm going to move you over there just in case anything fucking stupid or crazy happens. You guys are fine over there. I don't want to lose the units. Just out of getting greedy. Yes, there we go. That should be it. No? You guys have more... More units somewhere. Apparently you do. Uh-huh. That's odd. Do you have more shit somewhere? Like to know where it is. Our enemy have lost a victory point. Oh, our enemy have lost a victory point. I thought they said we've lost a victory point. It's like, uh, how? Nah, there they are. There they are. As I say, there's got to be something somewhere that's taking our shit. Oh, it sure is taking him a long time in around that corner, isn't it? God damn. Oh, it's this guy. It's that army that was um, standing outside the settlement before we uh, started attacking shit. Wow, we're losing it to them. Nice. We have all those troops there. Throw your shits, damn it. Throw your shits. That may have been what happened with that one over there. They may have been in the vicinity somewhere and just never fucking saw them and shit. It's my guess as to what happened. So let's enjoy this a little bit, shall we? Since they are literally the last units. Let's watch them all. One of our yeah, units has used all its ammunition. Oh, there goes our little our little peltists. Let's get in here, of course. Oh, oh shit, they're running. All right, so that does it for Taraco. Damn, they had a lot of fucking units left. Jesus. It's kind of uh, interesting, irritating rather. Not interesting, but irritating. They had so many left, goddamn. They shouldn't, fuckers. Of course, we weren't really chasing anyone down or anything like that, so. I didn't get any kills off of those, like those last little volleys as they're running away with the with our Libyan peltists. So. All right, so we now have Taraco. Um, design, this settlement is going to pr practically mirror image. Um, but whatever that one's called, Gart Hadash. We're gonna put a bunch of garrison troops in there. Um, and we're gonna, probably gonna take a long time moving anywhere in terms of, um, you know, expanding from that location. We are going to put um, a shrine or whatever up to help uh, convert some of the populace. Um, but that's it um, for that settlement. It's not going to have a whole lot there. I think we'll maybe do, uh, you know, trade port or something. Probably just a fishery or whatever for food. That's really the more. Um, the more, or whatever you want to call it, the more valuable resource as opposed to money. I mean, money, money comes later, and we're starting to really get going with that. Um, once we have, you know, like I said, I mean, a lot of our money right now is going towards our our upkeep for our troops, which unfortunately is not then being used 
all that proactively when we're just sitting in carless like it's it, that money is invested well when you're moving around and actually capturing settlements and that's what i'm trying to do at least in the iberian peninsula just kind of get going doing all that shit um and once we do you know it'll be it'll be worth it especially when we're taking places like Taraco and actually taking over full provinces which is what we're trying to do um yeah I think we'll move, we'll try to move west through Kartuba and over to Ebra and Olisipo. Um, first, well, I don't know, that might get, that might make us a little too strung out. If we have one army over there in that area and one army over here, but it is what it is. Eventually, though, eventually what we'll do is we'll be able to have the walls of Bursa move around and I think try and take Numantia after we get the garrison and everything going at Taraco. Um, we should be fine. And like I said, they'll never, they never attack these forts, these fun settlements, I should say. You know, it's all up to you to make use of them being interesting by attacking them all the time yourself. Which makes, like I said, defending them, you never get to defend them, which is unfortunate because I like like I said I love defending settlements I mean that's my favorite part of the game I think so I mean you don't ever get to do that it's kind of it kind of loses a little bit makes it a little less fun so we got this guy marshalling troops right now since this guy can't go nowhere and he's not raiding anymore haha -ha. dick It'd be nice if this guy could come out and attack him just come out and sandwich that fucker kick his ass I like to see, I like to see this army, the fucking Thunderbolt douchebags over there, do something. I really like to see that. Really, really like to see that actually. But anyhow, all right, Mauritania is pretty much just gonna sit there, and when we have extra money, like, nah, damn, we have a good chunk of change. That's a good chunk of change if we continue bringing that in every turn. But we'll end this turn here. Oh no, we don't. No, we don't. We got Anath and Matalo. Just got better burr. And that's our see yeah. Alright, you I'll go with that because I like the movement. I kinda want you you know what? Let's move you. Let's move you up here. Setting forth in the name of Carthage. Oof in shit. Service, I never tire. You might be seeing them assholes here soon. Goddamn. All right, you, Mr. Matalo. Um, go with movement range again, because I like the movement range. All right, hopefully we do. Like I said, I'd love to. I just, I'd love to see this. Try and counter attack. I mean, just, I don't know. For the sake of having fun, you know what I mean. Heaven forbid you do, right? But anyhow. What are you doing with that army there, Adalalia? That's what I want to know, Rome. What the fuck are you going to do? Because I would love... God damn it! There they go again. They're just, ah, let's just fucking move this way. Arr. Nah, where are you guys going now? Where are they going? That is one thing that kind of... Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, do whatever you're going to do, Lissitani. That's what we want to see. We want you to come. Oh, and these guys. Oh, fuck. Hmm. So you know what's going to happen here. I'll tell you exactly what's going to happen. All right, this army is going, ooh, although they can't move through there, can they? They would have to take our tuba first. Wouldn't they? Wouldn't they? Ah, you fucking assholes, I knew it. I knew you were gonna fucking do something cheap, you little bitch, you little bitch. You little, mm. Grumble, grumble, moan, moan. Tell you after these fucking dicks. Fuck them. Just fuck them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. A fabric college. Ooh, we can actually make that already? Oh, wait. No, this is something different. What do you do for me? 
Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna tear you down. I'm gonna tear that down. I am gonna do something risky. We're gonna we're just this episode is just chock full of combat. Ah, you're gonna run away like a little bitch, huh? You're gonna run away like a little bitch. But that's actually better. That's much, 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 much better. That's awesome. Sorry. I, I'm all up on how that actually worked out for us. That's awesome. It's fantastic, God damn it. That is awesome, actually. See how, yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that here in a minute. Actually, these guys moving in blah, 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 blah is awesome. It's much better than um, than fighting them in an entrenched position. Because, um, yeah, fighting them in it. Oh, see, we got some allies. We do have these guys coming out. These guys might be worth useful allies. They really will. I wish I could get them as, as our whatever you want to call it, our um, client state, because it'd be nice to have them as a buffer state between the Lusitani right now, especially since we have that big army that's sitting there on the other side of Kartuba. However... Hmm. We'll see how things play out, probably in the next episode, because I think we're going to stop right here and try and counteract that bullshit that they're trying over there by taking arts, because they're fucking dickheads, and they like to sneak and fucking cheat and fucking bitches all i've had to say like i said just what they were hoping on doing i think is taking kartuba and then coming and ambushing my unit that was sitting there with their with their um whatever the hell they were their entrenched unit but see i beat them to the fucking punch by attacking their entrenched unit this turn or you guys hmm Ideas are coming to mind. You are four. Right, you fucking guys. Do your thing. All right, I'm gonna start this shit. This is gonna be really difficult. Oh, all right. We at least know where they are. Ah, I probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, 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 you should just go ahead and fucking... Yeah, I see that. Ooh. Ooh. Mmm. Things... Okay, yeah, I'll explain what might happen here next turn in a second. And then we might, like I said, we might end the episode before I decide on what to do. Because, yeah, we might have some, well, we do have some huge decisions to be made here. So, um, yeah, well, we'll get into that, like I said. But as of this battle, and I do like fighting in the woods and shit. Oh, it's so fun. It is so fun fighting in the woods and shit. You fuckers are we have discovered the enemy's hidden units moving. you have spears or something in here right you are skatari cavalry right i want you fuckers to get all up in that shit and i guess i'll have you guys hide over there you guys you guys are still running i really don't want to we have discovered the enemy's hidden units where <laughs> Oh, did they turn around and shit? How neat. How neat of them to turn and face their attackers. Yeah, what's 
sucks because these guys are gonna get routed and run out of town. Good thing is they're only garrisons, so they get replenished. The enemy is attacking our ally. Really quick. Well, if your dumbass would have just fucking hung out, not went after him, you'd have been fine. But hey, because we would have taken care of this shit. Should I? No, not with the spearmen. Losing, oh, never mind. As I say, losing current combat. How the fuck are they losing current combat? Because you got all of us about to fuck their shit up. That's how. Bitches. Are we are, for this army, I think we're going to have one more... Peltist and one more Carthaginian Alphate, and then we'll be good to go. And then this, then this military will be pretty much, pretty much good to go. When the fuck? Oh yeah, I'm gonna attack them. You guys are done getting your shit kicked in. You know. Yeah, all right. Do like fighting in force and shit. I find it a lot of fun, and it does. They do a good job of making it a pain in the ass to see, but I do like being able to zoom in here. And... Our hidden units have been discovered. Yep, that's cool. We're okay with that. Damn, these fucking Celtiberians are fucking hanging on pretty well. I'm. Yeah, now you get shit thrown at you from everywhere, bitch. Our hidden units have been discovered. Intercept them, bitches. Oh shit, they says. Oh shit. By the way. <laughs> uh, fuck. Our general is under attack. This game can be stupid amounts of fun sometimes. <laughs> oh, these are the spearmen. Why not want them in there? No, oh, they're routed. Yeah, there we go. Whole lot of marching, a whole lot of nothing. We are way too old. After them, I guess. I don't fucking care. Do whatever you want. You can get us going. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, all right. So we got. This. Come on, route, 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 you bitch. There we go. End battle. So, like I said, I'll get into it here in a minute. At length. And I'll explain the decisions that will need to be made. Between now and the next episode. Um, hopefully, oh fuck. That might not work out well. I'll probably forget knowing me. I'm just fucking completely forget but we'll get into it here in a second as soon as this loads up because it's going to require some visuals so there is that but it's going to be it, it's like i said it's going to be some interesting decisions we can kind of do one of two things and i may just fucking leave these guys hanging but anyhow all right so now that we fucked our shit up all right, so here's what could happen. These guys come and attack this settlement. All right, Jesus, fuck. It'll, we'll win, but it'll be ugly. God damn. All right. So these guys can't get through Kartuba. That means to get to us, which is what they want to do, they need to go through Kartuba. Damn near impossible. Here's why. Fuck, these assholes are gonna go take it, aren't they? You sons of fucking bitches. I hate you. 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 I don't hate you because we have a decent garrison there. I'm gonna fucking take your ass on, you little bitch. You little bitch. Although they'll probably just recruit mercs and fuck my ass up. Because they're assholes like that. But anyhow, alright, so here's what's gonna happen. These guys are gonna want to get to me. They always want to fucking fight you. Or at least go snake a son of it from me. 
So they'll either retreat next turn, which is likely, or they'll try and come through here. Now, they can't come through here without attacking Kartuba, because the Kartuba zone of control, this big red bubble here, they can't go through that without taking this settlement. So, here's the question. Do I stay here and help reinforce Kartuba? Or should I run back to Ars? Now, let me say something here. I will likely not get back here in time. So, however, that will most likely in, in, encourage them to go ahead and take Kartuba. Which is fine because, you know, we'll just take that summon from them. It's not a big deal. We'll just fucking take it because we can. But, if they take Kartuba... Which, I don't even know why I'm doing that. I shouldn't be doing that in that territory. Fuck. Alright, anyway. So, now if I do reinforce Kartuba, if I stay here and help them reinforce Kartuba and they attack, what's going to happen is we're most likely going to fight in the field, not in their settlement, because I don't think they'll open the doors for me to come inside their settlement and help defend it. I don't think that'll happen. I don't think I've ever done that. I think it'll be out in the field. Which would give them a decent chance at beating us. So, there's that. Um, good thing is they don't have hardly any cavalry, so. Yeah. Ooh, I know they are upgraded units. Fuck. It's because of all the SIPO over there. So, that's what we're up against here. Okay. So, the big problem is. And the garrison and stuff so like I said that's the issue we're kind of running into right now um should I go ahead and retreat see now we are just out of their zone of control too and we could hope that them actually assaulting the settlement would you know do some harm or in all truth uh, why are these guys starving how are they starving Anyhow, point is, whatever action that they take with this unit, with this army, will likely work out for them. However, I don't have much money. Oh, did they? Oh, they already did, actually. Hmm. I am going to try something. Probably shouldn't, but I'm going to try it anyway. That was a waste of money. All right, so like I said, they're gonna go in and try and take ours. Um, they're very likely to go and hire mercenaries to try and do that. I cannot move these guys from Taraco yet because basically it has no garrison. This army could just walk in and take it, literally. Hold on, we're gonna do this real quick. Um. Uh, Oh, they're not the Gallic Confederation. They have the Arverni still. Huh. Son of a bitch. Um, I'm going to auto-resolve this. Just just because this has been obviously a long episode already. Attacking these the fortified locations are kind of fun. They're really cool. I love defending them. They're a lot of fun. Just fun. All sorts of fun. Um, now that we've done that, we'll retreat back to there. And uh, Alcon is... Badass general. But, uh... Yeah. Um, however, Ars has a decent garrison, like I said. They'll, they will have to, I think. I think they'll have to have... Oh, fuck, maybe not. Maybe I'm lying out of my ass. I couldn't be lying out of my ass because... A mom, a mob. Mobs are two of those, but... We'll see. I think what we are going to do is we are going to retreat back to ours because I don't see that being all that advantageous for us. Can I force march your ass? And, oh. Get a lot a lot closer to ours because they can't take Kart Hadash from us. From us. From us. I can tell you that right now. That will not happen. I don't think. Hopefully. 
Anyway, all right, so the next episode will be fun. A lot of stuff will happen. We'll see what happens with these two units um, or these two units, these two settlements. Um, in all honesty, I would not be upset if the Celtiberian Confederation gets their shit kicked in by the Lusitani and loses both these settlements because then that'll give us the opportunity to take Artuba and Kadira um, and, you know, really push the Lusitani away from us here so anyway all right so that does it for this episode you made this far on youtube you know what to do thanks a lot for watching bye